Hello and welcome to your second episode on quick revision and in this session we'll be focusing on alcohols. One of the key examinable outcomes with alcohols is deciphering whether you're looking at a primary, a secondary or a tertiary alcohol. Now with a primary alcohol you need to locate the functional group which is the OH group. Once you've located the functional group you need to look at the carbon to which it is attached. So it happens to be this carbon here. Now you need to count how many carbons this carbon is attached to directly. So it's directly attached to a hydrogen, a hydrogen and just one single carbon. You exclude this one because the key word here is directly. So it's directly attached to one carbon which makes this a primary alcohol. With a secondary alcohol, same process. Here's the functional group. It's attached to this carbon and in this case this carbon is attached directly to one on the right and one on the left which makes this a secondary alcohol. Finally with this tertiary alcohol here's the OH it's attached to this carbon here and this carbon is directly attached to one, two, three carbons which makes this a tertiary alcohol. A second key learning outcome is the oxidation products of each of these different types of alcohol. So what we're going to do now is focus on primary alcohols first. So we can oxidize a primary alcohol to give an aldehyde. So in this particular case, the aldehyde that you're going to produce will look like this. And you can clearly see that we produced a carbonyl group right at the end of the chain, which signifies an aldehyde. Aldehydes always have a carbonyl group at the end of the chain. So we produce an aldehyde from the oxidation of a primary alcohol. Now you may recall that oxidation is the loss of electrons. Oxidation can also be the loss of hydrogen. And if we look at the molecular formula for this primary alcohol here, here on the left, you will soon see it's C3H8O, whereas the molecular formula for this aldehyde is C3H6O. So we've lost two hydrogens, which makes it an oxidation reaction. Aldehydes can also be oxidized to give carboxylic acids. And you can clearly see the carboxylic acid functional group here at the end of the molecule, COOH. Again, if we take the molecular formula for this carboxylic acid, it's C3 H. C3H6O2. So in this particular case we've gained an oxygen which makes this an oxidation reaction. So aldehydes can be oxidized to give carboxylic acids. Now you'll notice here in blue I've got the word reduction and I've got arrows pointing to the left. Well, we can reduce carboxylic acid to give an aldehyde. So let's place that blue arrow in there. By removing oxygen. And we can also reduce an aldehyde by adding hydrogen to give a primary alcohol. So moving left to right is oxidation while moving right to left is reduction. Okay, let's now move on to a secondary alcohol. Secondary alcohols can be oxidized to give ketones and this is the carbon of interest because what's going to happen here is on this carbon we're going to lose a hydrogen and we're also going to lose another hydrogen here and we're going to end up with a carbon double bonded oxygen. So we'll just quickly write that down here on the right so that you can see this. And here's our ketone. 
the carbonyl group sits in the middle. It has a carbon either side, which makes this a ketone. And again, if we look at the molecular formula, we've got C3H8O, and the molecular formula here is C3H6O. So again, we've lost two hydrogens in this process, and the loss of hydrogen is known as oxidation. And that's pretty much where it ends. We can't oxidize a ketone readily. So secondary alcohols can give ketones via oxidation, and we can reduce a ketone to give a secondary alcohol. Okay, moving on to tertiary alcohols. Tertiary alcohols do not readily undergo oxidation. So that's one that you don't really need to worry about too much. And the reason for this is if you look at the carbon that the OH is attached to, that carbon is not attached to any hydrogen. So we, there's no hydrogens that we can actually remove directly from that carbon. Whereas in this particular case, yes, we could have removed this hydrogen there. Um, and of course, we're removing this hydrogen. So that's the two hydrogens that have come off there. And, this, and within the primary alcohol, well, we had a choice. We could have removed this all that and of course we're also going to be removing this so that's the reason why tertiary alcohols cannot be oxidized readily so in summary a primary alcohol can be oxidized to give an aldehyde an aldehyde can be oxidized to give a carboxylic acid a secondary alcohol can be oxidized to give a ketone but a tertiary alcohol does not readily undergo oxidation